Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Empress Radio. So Maurice from Love and Mary Tuntsville, he's angry at the content creators. And I'm sure it's one in particular because he's, uh, you know, demanding a public apology. Well, he's coming for content creators and saying that they defame him and defame stars pretty much. So um, I'm going to let you guys hear the video, but in the caption it reads, it's unfortunate that I have to make this post, but it's necessary. Content creators have a responsibility to make sure that they don't run... Don't run afoul of the law when they post about people. There's a line where free speech stops and defamation starts, and a good blogger knows the difference. They should know how to use buzzwords like allegedly and, in my opinion, work as well because it can create unnecessary confusion and danger for their subjects. You don't have to like me, but it's unwise to run afoul of the law while doing so. Correct it or a fool and their money will soon part. Maurice Jefferson Scott Sr. Esquire. Hashtag Love and Mary Tunsville, Marie Scott, Carlos King, Love and Mary Tunsville, blogger, vlogger, content creator, lawsuit, retraction. So, yeah, he's demanding a retraction and, you know, saying lawsuits, you know, that's the first thing that they do is, uh, you know, threaten lawsuits. But at the same time, you do kind of have to tread lightly when you're a content creator because, you know, Tasha K is definitely a case for that, you know, um, showing what can happen if you take it too far as a blogger you know um but yeah so uh, hopefully you know whoever he's talking about gets there you know apologizes or whatever probably not though because you know a lot of content creators have their ego too which is what Tasha K went um down the wrong road with you know um not apologizing I think she said she like wiped her butt with the cease and desist of course that was so Tasha K uh and you see what's happening now but yeah so I don't know who he's talking about, but you guys can leave it in the comments. But I'm going to let you guys hear what he had to say. But before that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. I've been talking about more celebrity gossip and trending topics and stuff. And we're going to actually go back to our um, problematic series. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, that was like actually what grew my old channel we were talking about like how basketball wise is problematic and we're just gonna like talk about different series and different shows and movies that are problematic when you look back at it as an adult you know or you look at it uh, with a different lens you know um but yeah so this is what maurice had to say hey good afternoon happy monday to you guys well i'm, I'm actually here to address something that's very serious um, I've recently run across uh, a blogger who's been putting false information out there, and I wanted to make sure that no one is misled by this information. Um, first of all, my name is Maurice Scott, Maurice Jefferson Scott Sr. And um, if you're going to do research on a Maurice Scott, make sure that you're, you're researching the right person. I'm Maurice Jefferson Scott. Uh, I do not have a criminal history. Um, I've never been arrested. I don't have anything more than a citation or a traffic ticket. That's the most I have. Citations and or traffic tickets. That's the very most. Never been in handcuffs. My reputation is something that I'm very, very proud of. Um, and I'm going to defend it. Second thing is, I think that we really need to separate uh, some of this reality television from reality. Okay. And um, there's an issue that sometimes if we don't see it on reality television, then it's not real. However, I'm an active practicing lawyer. Um, so I'm not going to play about my law license. That's another thing that I'm very proud of. It took me a lot of hard work. Graduated valedictorian in my class and passed the bar first time with flying colors. So not only am I an active practicing lawyer, I have multiple cases. And it's not just in Alabama. I have cases that are co-counseled in other jurisdictions um, that states as well. OK, so just want to make sure that you guys understand I'm going to I'm going to protect uh, both of those. So this is one of the things that I want to encourage like bloggers to do. Do a little better research before you attach someone's name to a criminal history. It's very important that you do your homework. It's actually reckless and dangerous if you don't. Um, some of the allegations were <clears throat> extremely, extremely dangerous. Uh, attaching my person to that criminal enterprise puts not just me at danger because there may be other people that were involved that think that now I'm that target. So it's not just me that you might put in danger. You might also put my family in danger. So this is something that's very, very serious to me. Um, even further, 
I normally don't get on social media and go back and forth with bloggers or try to correct narratives or whatever. But sometimes when, you know, we can't separate reality from reality television and lines that get crossed, then I'll actually step in and address this. Um, so in closing, I'm very, very proud of my reputation. Um, and I spoke to Carlos King earlier today. And you know what? Carlos said, maybe before you just actively just sue him, how about you give them an, op an opportunity to retract their statement? And I'm going to go even one further, right? Because that's actually a good idea. Uh, being in this business for as long as Carlos has been in the business, you know, he's seen all kind of, you know, stories and narratives and everything else. But um, I'm going to go one further and give you an opportunity to retract. And I want a public apology for those two uh, situations, anyone that's speaking negatively about those two situations. I'll give you uh, 10 days. Take the stuff down and I want a public apology behind it because it's false information and you could have done a much better job and it was called into question many a times on your own post. It was called into question the accuracy of the information and you recklessly disregarded that information. You also posted it multiple times and you shared the information as if it was true. What I will tell you is this, I'm very, very serious about this and you will find yourself on the opposite side of a lawsuit and you'll know that not only am I an attorney, I'm a good one. Okay, so you guys heard what Maurice had to say. Now, I like I said, I see both sides. Like as a content creator, you really don't want to be apologizing after you put some stuff out. But at the same time, you don't want a lawsuit either. So like I said, tread lightly, you know, um, but I still actually have no context context or know what he's talking about or who he's talking about so let me know in the comments like i just want to know and also like stay tuned for our problematic series let me know what shows that you guys think are problematic looking back i know basketball wise is one of them i know real housewives of potomac is pretty problematic there are certain movies i want to talk about that like looking back are problematic um but yeah just give me some ideas you guys um so yeah what do you guys think about this drop your comments below and don't forget to like comment subscribe for more videos from empress radio okay bye Hey, good afternoon. Happy Monday to you guys. Well, I'm, I'm actually here to address something that's very serious. Um, I've recently run across uh, a blogger who's been putting false information out there, and I wanted to make sure that no one is misled by this information. Uh, first of all, my name is Maurice Scott, Maurice Jefferson Scott, Sr. And um, 